Hello lovely creators, Vivian here from Vivian's Creativity Lab. Um, today I've been looking at um, a boho art style and uh, in this video um, I'm going to show you how I created um, this, this style in Canva. Um, it's a style that will give your decor a modernist feel. Um, and so what will you learn? Well, I hope you'll learn um, a few different ideas of how to bring this style into your uh, art prints. And um, so what is boho? It's um, a, uh, a style full of bright, sometimes bright, earthy colors. Uh, with abstract shapes, as you can see here. Um, the emphasis is on organic elements and nature. And okay, let's let's get to it. So I'm going to the home page of Canva. Here we are. So I have the Pro Canva account, but um, I've been I've used all the free elements for this tutorial. Um, so you can work with the um, the free account that they have. So as you can see, I'm going along the top here, create a design. Now this, uh, the size of the design, I chose an A4, which is very, very similar. Uh, in fact, there's hardly any difference with a US letter size. So let's click on that. Okay, at the bottom here you can see I'm working on 30% size, so I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Alright, so uh, let's have a look at the um, the first print that I did. Um, this is a very simple boho style. Um, flowers with... Um, a, a sort of rainbow behind in one color. So let's go over to the untitled design. What you have to do is go over to elements here on the left, click on elements, and I'm going to go up to search elements and I'm typing in boho aesthetic. Okay, now I want to get back to the free um, elements. So I'm going up here. Can you see just uh, on the right of the search box? Going in there, I'm going to scroll down and I have checked the free box. Okay, so first we have graphics, then photos and frames, which I, I won't be using in this tutorial. So let's have a look at the graphics, as you can see. See all. And I'm going to look for the rainbow I used. I probably won't be able to find it, but we can use something a little bit different. In fact, I'll go on to Boho Rainbow here because I actually saved it when I was scrolling through. I saved it to my, um, my, my file. So let me go back to all graphics, see all. And we could use this one with earthy colors. This is an abstract organic rainbow by Mela May from May Risphere Studio. Let's check the license here, even though we're on the free account let's check the license always check the licensing so that you don't get into trouble okay so i'm going to bring that over there we are and i'm going to put that there i'm going back to let's find some flowers Okay, when you click on an element, sometimes you can change the color 
and sometimes you can't. So when I've clicked on this one and to see whether I can change the colour, I just have a look here and it says colour. So I actually want it to be one of the colours here, preferably this one here. So let me click on colour. It gives me the document colours and it also gives me the photo colours. So let me change the colour there. OK, let's bring it up here. OK, let's go back to the original that I did, which had this simple rainbow here and a flower. OK, so that one is similar. Let's go back and have a look. And if we zoom in, I can see whether the flower is just OK. I actually want it to go behind the brown part. Can you see it's overlapping there? So all I do is I go up to position backward and that has sent it to the back. OK, so let's have a look. And there is one that we have done. OK, so let me go back to my original one. And as you can see, I just did a, uh, a rainbow with some flowers. OK, if I scroll down here, I this is exactly the same as the one above, but I added these um, sort of dots, OK, and gave them the same colour as the rainbow. OK, so let's come down to the next one that I did. I used the rainbow again and I put in a uh, flower on the top. I added a couple of circles. And as you can see, I added the flower again here. If I scroll down, all I've done is added similar dots. OK, and I changed up here the colour to suit the piece of art. OK, here we have a plant with some abstract um, blobs behind. OK, so let's go over to our first, the one we were working on. Now, what I want to do is I am going to go up here and I'm going to add a page. OK, ah, I ought to give it a title as well. Boho Tutorial. And then just left click outside boho tutorial and this time I am going to search for boho flowers I've still got the filter on free so let's come down here that's quite nice I want it to be a little bit simpler So I'm just holding my left mouse key down and dragging it. To turn the picture, you just go on these arrows here and you can turn it. Let's go back to my original. OK, I put some blobs underneath. So boho, I'll just write boho and see what happens. OK, in fact, I'm going to put in Boho Beige. There we are. As you can see, there's also a background which is uh, ready for use. There are some blobs, some hearts. Perhaps use this one. As you can see, I can change the colour. I might bring that up into the corner. I'm going to change the colour. 
and I'm going to give it that earthy green and I'm going to come inside right click copy right click paste and I will have another a duplicate um, I don't want it going in the same direction so I'm coming up to uh, flip up here flip horizontal okay uh, the plant isn't that exciting so I might go back to the left to elements graphics recently used let's see if i can find the plant there it is so i'm left clicking on this backspacing on my computer and i'm going to use this plant as it's a bit more colorful i'm going to bring it down a little bit okay and there we have another very simple um, abstract boho art piece so let me go back to my original ones coming down here i gave it a variation so what i could do go back here if i want to duplicate the all the elements i just go up here if you go here you'll get a just a, a blank page if you go here you will get a duplicate page so I might try and add something a little bit more interesting to the um, a picture a blob okay I've covered that so I am going up to position hmm a little bit too dark so I'm going up to here where I can undo and get rid of that blob okay uh, let's have a look what can we do here we could add another plant or a flower or we could add this which I added before I'm going to turn it slightly to fit with the other plant and holding down the left key I'm going to place it in there all right let's go on to the next one oh, I even put some uh, some wavy lines there okay this is quite a simple one so I'm going back I'm going to add a page and if I'm not mistaken, there we are. I found this rather nice graphic. So how do I center it? Just hold down your left key until you see the two red lines that join in the middle. Can you see that? Okay, and let's choose a flower. going to turn it and hold down my left key and drag it slightly um, it's a bit too dark so while I'm on there live if I go up here to transparency I can bring down the transparency slightly which is quite nice. I'm sort of layering it in to the other graphic. Then I'm going back on it. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Going to bring it down. Back up to flip, flip horizontal. Whoops, I think I made a mistake there. Flip vertical. Okay, but one of the leaves is outside of the frame, so I'm just bringing that up slightly. And there we have 
another boho piece that you can use for your print on demand. Let's go on to the next one. Ah, this was similar, although I just added the, um, the extra foliage there. Okay, this one is quite nice. I got these, um, they look like Greek urns from uh, a great place called Design Cuts. So I'm going to go back over to my tutorial. I'm going to add a page. I'm going over to Uploads and I'm going to look for my Greek urns. If you want to upload your own images, all you do is go on to the left to Uploads and then go up here, Upload Files. Let's see if I can find my... I uploaded them a while ago, so... They're somewhere here. I know they are. Gosh, that's a picture of me. <laughs> if you don't know what I look like, there I am. <laughs> there we are. This is a selection of elements that I got from Design Cuts. Um, I'm going to click on that. All I did, I right clicked inside, copy, paste. Something happened there. What happened there? Something happened. Let me go back up to the top. Undo. Right click. Paste. There we are. So I'm just going to make sure they are centered a little bit on the large side because I do want to add some flowers to them. Okay, I found the, the red line. So let's go back over to Elements. And I quite like these earthy colours. Hold down your left mouse key. Right click, copy. Right click, paste. So we could bring them in here. In fact, I'm going to change this one slightly. I'm just holding down my left key. Okay, now I want this uh, this plant to actually be in the vase, in the urn, so I'm going to go up to position, backward, and as you can see the plant has gone inside. So let's do the same for this one. Position, backward. Okay, it's not quite symmetrical, so let's... That's a bit better. All I'm doing is holding down the left key. Okay, if we want to add some text, we go over to the left to Text, add a heading and type in what we want. Let's let's write in natural boho. Now, I can use this little slider here. Actually, I want that down there. So I'm just going to drag it down with my left mouse key. Um, I'm going to change the font, so I am clicking inside and holding down my left key. I'm going up to fonts here. There was a font I quite liked. Here it is. Quicksand. Let me show you. Okay, quite a natural looking font. Um, we could keep the, um, the colour the same or you can select it with your left key. Go up to here, the A with the colours, and we could use 
document colours, default colours, photo colours. That's not the photo I want. Let's have a look at this. Natural boho. Um, I'm going to select it again. And can you see up here we've got the alignment? So I've just clicked on that and we have aligned it to the left. Okay, let's see if I've, here it was, a, I did a variation. Another very simple, two abstract shapes here, a flower and a blob behind. Ah, this is the one I wanted to show you. So I'm going to add a page. I'm going back over to Elements and I am going to, let me just check something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I use different flowers, so I am going to use the daisy. This one. And I might use this one as well. Now I'm going to show you, let me move that over a touch. Okay, I'm going to flip it, that's better, but I'm going to move it over slightly. And turn it. I am then going to, this one I'm backspacing to get rid of that one. But I might use this one. Flip horizontal. It can get a little bit tricky but if you just if you're patient you can work on it. Now um this one is too big. Daisy a little bit shorter. And I want to turn it. So that it fits with the others. Now, as you can see, this one is uh, the main element in the front so I'm going up to transparency and I'm going to bring down can you see that the leaf from behind is gradually appearing and I'm going to do the same to this one I'm going to bring the transparency down a touch and the daisy is behind so that's fine uh, but I'm going to do something now. As you can see, they aren't centered in the image, so I am holding down my left key and I am selecting all the shapes. I've released the left key and as you can see, it says group. So I'm going to group them and that means that I can move them as one, um, one entity. So I want it to be a little bit more centered. There we are. So we've learned to do a bit of transparency and how to group uh, elements. If I want to ungroup it, just click on one of the elements and you can ungroup and that means you can work on each individually. Okay, everybody, I hope that's given you a few ideas uh, for your decor. Remember not to use images standalone from Canva, especially if you're using pro images. Always add your own unique style. Um, in this case, I used an earthy color palette, uh, beige leaves, etc. 
Um, but there, any earth type colour, nature colour would be fine. And you can create your own boho art prints for print on demand, just like this. Okay, have a lovely day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye for now.